period. We're great. It's a video. How's it going, guys? We're here in Mill Street in the Spring Farm Machinery Show in Cork. So we're going to give a quick walk around. We're just passing Malone here now. Hang on a sec. There's some savage gear here all together. Just going to get a quick walk around and see what you think of it. Tools. As well as still setting up, this is the main hall. That can serve a, a big stall here. That is some weapon of a fint, lads. A 720 Vario. She is a, a Kubota. Of course, a Kubota taking over big time now as well. Atkins and Cork again have the agency for them. They're actually a lovely tractor. I'd love to get um, get a spinner one. I get a spinner one for to draw a few loads of silage. Pottinger and of course Atkins are also the agency for McHale's lights Coon Masses It's hard to beat the Massey lads. And the Massey baler, the whole lot. Massey telehandler. I think I could be wrong on this, but you can correct me. I think the Massey baler was actually, um, was it the Welger baler? Is it the same thing? I think it was. I think Welger took over. And Massey took over Welger one or the other. Kramer, loading shovels. John Deere, the farm power, it's a, Some savage looking John Deere's and M's, we and R. 6R, 1556R. John Deere Baylor. Nimkin. Of course, only up the road here we have Coleman's and Mill Street. This is the tractor I want to get a, a look at if I can. I presume it's the same tractor that was in Buckley's and they stole. Um, I think there's only one or two of them in Ireland. This is the methane tractor, um, powered by methane. Um, Coleman's and Mill Street have it at the moment. There's going to be two barrels of gas there inside in the front of it. Um, you might ask where's methane coming from. Methane is actually coming out of the slurry. Um, I know in the UK there is a thing that all slurry towers will have to have a roof on them by I think it's 2027. And um, there's a couple of videos on YouTube of this tractor. Um, I'm actually really hoping Buckley's in the soil are going to get it back. And if they get it back, I'm going to carry it for a drive. Apparently there's very little reduction in power. And plus any council or anything like that or local authority that might buy it there is a major discount on your or uh, what like your carbon footprint so yeah it's a serious looking weapon of a tractor it's a t6 180 and the two gas barrels there are in front of it and like i said all slurry towers have to be roofed by 2027 also here on the back of the T5120 have a, a kind of a grass tether. McCarthy's, oh I never saw them, McCarthy's are here. McCarthy's are class dealers of course. A couple of class tractors and the, the class load and shovel. And 956. That's a, a big ball of a class. Class were a handsome tractor. I never drove a class until kind of last year, but they are a, they're a lovely tractor. I love the gearbox in them. I can some of the new Hollands when you're going up through the gears, you can go, 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 and she'll get kind of confused, but the class doesn't. The class kind of stays as they are, of course. Like I said, McCarthy's are the, the dealer for all the loading shovels and for 
the harvesters and the haulers. Shattered dates. One six eighty five dates. Jim Power. A serious take here, lads. Do you know that's a question for you? Actually, it came up in another YouTube channel there recently. What do you think is the best looking tractor? I actually think the best looking tractor at the moment on the market has to be the Valtra. It is just, I think they're handsome, I think they're a beautiful looking tractor. And with all the, the Abbey with different cattle crushes, mobile crushes. And here we have the Zetter, or the Zeter. Absolutely fantastic again. They're a lovely tractor as well. There were at one time probably a cheap tractor, cheap horsepower, cheap tractor, but not anymore. They're well up in the market there. So the front looks like a bit of a dates. We have small Massey, we have the Thomason. Thomason took made a massive impact on the market there for a long time, but they they kind of, I won't say they disappeared, but they kinda of did for a while. Dribble bars. Crones. Sunny excavators. Are they going to take over? They're new in Ireland, I think, as of last year. The Red Rock Machinery. Another Irish company. Red Rock signage grabs. That is a big Red Rock tanker inside there, 3000. She looks bigger than that, actually. Red Rock dump trailer. Back again here to the, the Zetter. Zetter tractor. I presume that's 150 horsepower. Down along then 140, 120, 110. They're actually a lovely tractor. An absolutely handsome tractor. Price wise, I don't know. I wonder what prices they are they compared to the next one up. Like that, another tractor I'd love to get a, a spin in and to draw a load of silage, so if today anyone out there with a zetter, you're willing to give me a demo for the summer? Well, we have plans for the summer, we've actually fantastic plans. There's, I have plans on two factory tours, hopefully, and I'm hopefully going to, I can't announce it yet, but there's another bit of a, a project coming on, and hopefully in the next kind of, two to three videos, two to three weeks, I'll be able to tell you all about it. But like that, we were saying, is Valtra, in my opinion, the Valtra definitely has to be the best looking tractor on the market at the moment. I have no doubt in saying it. Now, a couple of years ago, I would have said the 30, 50 John Deere. I don't know what, actually go with that. Um, what was the, pick three best looking tractors, right? Pick. Vintage, right? What was your best looking vintage tractor? It has to be pre-1970, pre-1975, we'll say, right? 45 years old. Um, then your best looking classic tractor from 1975 all the way up along, we'll say, to... to, to zero, zero. Even, yeah, there, there are both. And then go with... Um, your best looking modern tractor. My pick is going to be my probably it's hard to take away from the Great Ferguson, okay? Even though there was Massey Harris's and they were a fabulous looking colour and all this and even the David Browns but I'm gonna pick a Great Ferguson as mine. Um the classic I'm going to pick a Muir Hill. 
the Muir Hill 141 or the 171, they were just a beast of a tractor. And modern tractor, I'm going to pick the Valtra, like that silver, that goldy coloured Valtra, like, come on, that's just... That's, that is a fabulous looking tractor, absolutely fabulous looking tractor. So pick them, let me know in the comments below what you think is your three best looking tractors. The three best looking tractors you can come across. All right. Here we have all our dribble bars, of course we're well into slurry season at the moment. And um, here's our dites again. Dites far, of course, interesting. Um, Interesting thing on dites. Dites were actually supposed to take over the the uh, not the Landini the the Leyland. Dites were actually supposed to take over the Leyland factory in Scotland at one stage, and the whole thing fell through. And because they went on strike, the Leyland boys went on strike when Mr. Dites was calling to the factory. He was going to take over the factory and start building dites in the Leyland factory instead of Leyland's and um, when he got there the, the Leyland workers were on strike and that was it in the story actually some brochures there for me to take and I've gone out the gap that's fine we can do that too just kind of a walk around I see Grassman are over here as well of course Grassman as well now are a serious kit serious serious business Yeah. Amazon, Crown Rake. All right, guys, we're here again. Limpkins, high spec, Suzuki quads. This yoke I want to drive. I really, really want to drive that, lads. Really do. More slurry equipment. Like I said, we're in the middle of slurry season at the moment. Flat out of slurry. Mulchers for diggers. Merlot above. I actually saw a Merlot the other day on, um, on YouTube on another channel. I'm merely certain it was a Merlot and there was a three-point linkage on the back of it. I actually thought it was the, the bee's knees. I think I can see one here with a three-point linkage. There is sword in that. A Merlot, three-point linkage, PTO, the whole lot. I presume you could go bailing with it. It mightn't be very heavy enough to pull a big trailer but I presume you could do a lot of stuff with that and the Komatsu load and shovel Mikhail's of course yeah that'd be a class yoke she's probably four wheel steer as well that could do a lot of work for a farmer that's Grassland equipment, of course. We have the Zero Grazers. Zero Grazer season will be on us again shortly. Nice handy little tractors there. What are they called? Av Avenger. Never heard of them before. Nice handy sized tractors.
Okay guys, that is a weapon of a fiend. What did I say she was? 720 Vario. Cork Farm Machinery Limited. Caboto. Caboto, I think it's Crowley's. They are, yeah. Crowley's and Cork. And we've Class. McCarthy's, we've covered all of them already. Limpkins. That is a serious weapon of an oak, lads. What do we call it? I won't call it a pen buster. We call it. I don't know what you're going to call it. Someone can tell me what it's called. That is a serious weapon of an oak. You want a serious weapon of a tractor to pull a tool like? A Limpkin Cedar. She's a rotivator. Or, sorry, rotivator. A power harrow. And a cedar all in one. Alright guys, we're back again, we're wandering around again. We had a talk there with the the Limpkin sales rep. He was telling me about some of his some of the gear. It's all made in Germany. So again guys, don't forget. What's the best looking tractor? We'll go with three, three eras. We'll go with 1990s. We'll go with the 80s and 90s. The, the 70s, pre-70s, and we will go with a modern New York. This is a, a Grassman standover. A serious setup now, Grassman is absolutely serious carry on altogether. Red Rocks. Hard to beat Red Rocks. I had a Red Rocks side of the trail and gone back in the 90s and it was just, it was heavy, but it was absolutely bulletproof. It was just bulletproof. That is a ball of a tanker. It looks bigger than 3000, but that's what it is, 3000. That's the Red Rock Silas Trailer, they don't have one here, but they're a fabulous Silas Trailer as well. They're heavy, but they're built to last. Period. Well, great.